Hello there and a very good afternoon. Singapore will next week begin a public trial of driverless buses that can be booked with an app, part of ambitions to roll out autonomous vehicles across the city-state. According to SD Engineering, four driverless minibuses will follow a 5.7-kilometer route on the resort island of Sentosa from August 26 to November 15 for the public trial. Visitors can use an app on their phones to book the shuttles, which will pick them up and take them to selected destinations, while those without mobile phones can book the shuttles from kiosk along the route, with the free service operating on weekdays for four, for four hours. The Dominican Republic's top prosecutor said on Tuesday that the Caribbean nation's largest drug trafficking gang has been dismantled, a group that allegedly used two former professional baseball players to launder assets. Former Major League Baseball pitcher Octavio Dotel was arrested earlier on Tuesday, while Luis Castillo, also a former player, was named by authorities as being part of the gang. According to Dominican Attorney General Jean Alain Rodriguez, more than 40 raids were carried out across the country in connection with the case. Rodriguez announced that the case marked the largest anti narcotics operation in the recent history of the Dominican Republic. A Honduran court convicted the wife of former President Porfirio Lobo on graft charges including siphoning funds from programs designed to help poor children. Rosa Elena Bonilla was found guilty of diverting some 18.3 million Honduran lempiras on in-public funds plus international donations that were originally earmarked for social programs. The funds were then used to pay for personal medical bills, building projects, her children's private school tuition and jewellery. According to court spokesman Carlos Silva, the conviction carries a sentence of between 58 years and 87 years, which will be set next week. That is all from me. I'm Shira Abang Manso for TV Sarawak. Thank you for watching.